Okay, today we're going to learn how to use the recipe generator in MAP software uh, to get a good first initial recipe for your oven. And the first thing that you'll need to do is uh, connect your instrument to the PC. And so you'll want to make sure that you have one of these three um, profilers connected to your computer before we begin, either the VMOL, the SuperMOL Gold 2, or the Megamol 20 profiler. And once you've done that, go ahead and launch MAP software. And the second thing that we'll need to do in MAP software is make sure that we're in the reflow environment folder. And that's the, the only environment that uh, the recipe generator is available for. And so um, go ahead and, and uh, jump into the reflow environment. And over here on the right hand side, you'll see the chef's hat icon for the recipe generator. Or you can also uh, click the machine drop down menu and select recipe generator from the list. And so once you do that, the software is going to go out and verify your, your instrument is handy and available. And at that point, it's going to load the uh, recipe generator menu for you. And so um, there's three sections that we'll need to fill out to generate a recipe, starting with your oven, as well as the assembly board that you're measuring, and your process paste, your solder paste that you're going to use. And we can complete these in any order um, that the information is available to you in. You can uh, jump into them by selecting the edit uh, button here or by selecting the tabs across the top. And so um, just beginning with the oven here, um, we'll need to select from the menu our oven from the database, uh, which we have a, a pretty large database of ovens. If, you, if your oven's not in the database for whatever reason, you can select new and uh, generate an oven from scratch there. And so I'm just going to begin by uh, selecting our Electivert OmniFlow 7 oven that we have in-house here. And moving on to the board section, uh, you'll need to start by selecting the thickness of your board. You can do that by dragging the slider up and down. Um, or you can also enter the value in the um, in the field at the top in millimeters or inches if um, if it's um, specified in inches but we're going to go with our two millimeter thickness board here and uh, the second thing that you'll need to select is your component density and so you can see on the right hand side here um, there's an image uh, to give you an idea of a medium uh, density of components, low component density, or very high component density on a board. And so in this case our board is just a medium density board. Uh, we can name it if we want to, but that's not required. Um, we'll just name it board 76 to be fancy. And our um, green check mark in the bottom left here indicates that we're ready to move on to the next section. We've completed everything that we need to for this section. And so I'm going to move on to the paste area. And um, we have a couple different options. There's a straight ramp to spike profile or um, there's the ramp soak spike with that longer soak range um, towards the beginning of the profile, which we're going to use in this case and then we'll need to select our paste, our solder paste that we're using. And we have a huge database of solder pastes, um, as well as you can, you can create a new one from scratch if you need to, if yours is not in the database. And let's see here, I'm gonna go with, um, we'll go with the AIM-183 here. And so 
once we're once we've selected everything you need to, we can see that it automatically populates an oven recipe for us um, at the bottom of of the recipe generator, and that will have our set points that uh, you'll want to enter into the oven for a, a good first recipe. If we click back to the overview screen here, you can see that all three sections are are filled out and have the green check mark next to them. Um, as, as well as our specifications on the right hand side. And so you can print off this recipe uh, to take it out to your oven control software and, and enter that, uh, those set points in the software. Um, and you'll also want to save it in case you want to come back to it later and, and modify it or, or review the recipe after your run. And so if we click Save, we can name it. I'm just going to name it our test recipe and click OK. And now you can see it will be available in our drop down list here at the top. And so that's how to use the recipe generator in MAP software.